Oh, this is nice. A normal, relaxing Thursday, just me and my thoughts. Although, I'm sure there's something I'm meant to be doing today. Oh, never mind. Maybe if I take a bite of this sizable cupcake, it might come to me. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, bite size daily! That's what I'm supposed to be doing. There's no time for cake. Quick, play the menu. I'm on my way. Oh, I made it. Turns out I'm quicker than Usain Bolt. Who knew? So 11 to 12 year olds, welcome. And to kickstart the day, let's enjoy a little bit of reflection. After all, it is Thinking Thursday. Here's Radio 1's Chris Stark to share why it's important to remember you don't have to be someone you're not. That's at the pie chart. Otherwise, you've no idea what's what. OK, so we've got 50% male and 50% female there. And I need a title for it as well, don't I? So I'm going to call this pie chart the percentage of female to male presenters. Ta-da! That's a fantastic pie chart. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, and look what I found! Some different coloured sweets. Oh, brilliant. Red. Amazing. And you're going to need a title as well, sir. So how about chart showing the breakdown of different colours in a tube of sweets? It's a great spot, Katie. I was just testing you there to see if you saw what I missed. Classic teacher move, that, isn't it? Well, that lesson was off the chart, sir. So why don't you try and do something similar at home with your stockpile of sweets? I mean, we all know that the orange ones are the best, so it would be good to know how many you have, wouldn't it? And if you want to know more, there is loads of information on the BBC Bite Size website, as well as some terrific teacher talks that include step-by-step -step guides to these sometimes tricky topics. Just search BBC Bite Size Teacher Talks. Now let's see why graphs and charts are really helpful for businesses. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm all mathed out. So I think it's time for the daily palate cleanser that is the Big Read. All this week, we've been hearing extracts from Journey to the River Sea by Eve Ibbotson. Last time, we learned that Maya is due to travel to the Amazon in Brazil to live with a family called the Carters, who she's distantly related to. We also learned that she'll be accompanied on the journey by a governess. Here is the wonderful Jodie Kidd to tell us more. So it seems like Maya's all set for a journey and we're all set to delve into that latest extract with a little help from English extraordinaire, Mr Burton. Hi, right, Katie. What a cracking book you've picked for this week. It's a good one, isn't it? And I really enjoyed how, in this extract, the author was able to use the character of Maya to reveal some information about what lies ahead for her. A major journey for a young girl to take and it's clear that her friends are going to miss her. We're going to have one more extract from this cracking read tomorrow as Maya's journey begins properly. If you've enjoyed this book, why not see if you can borrow the audio book or e-book from your local online library? And if you want to know more about this book or any of the others we've read over the past few weeks, check out the daily lessons on the Bite Size website. Now, Mr Burton, don't go anywhere because I'm going to need your help so I can get to grips with the life and times of Mr. Shakespeare. That's coming up next. That quietly. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, no! Oh, that's a bit harsh, isn't it, sir? Sounds like it could have been quite dangerous to be an actor in Shakespeare's time. Oh, Mr. Burton, you've changed. Well, there was one thing.